What's up guys, it's me, Jaren, here with another theory. And today we're going to be discussing the theory that the Blood Moon Ball in Season 1 is completely nullified due to the events of the Season 3 finale. So without further ado, let's jump right into this theory. So to start, let's address all of what we know about the Blood Moon Ball. What we know at the Blood Moon Ball, every 667 years, two beings dance under the light of the Blood Moon, and their souls are bound for eternity. In the recentest ball, Star and Marco were bound, directly followed by Tom stepping in to stop the dance. Tom interrupting the dance will be important soon, but for now, let's get to the two-part Season 3 finale, Divide and Conquer. In the episode, we learn Meteor's eye beams have the ability to rip the soul out of a being. We know the specifics because Meteora rips countless souls out of Tom, and that's a detail slightly glossed over by the fans, but it gets important right here. Marco had his soul ripped out, which is a big part of the episode and adds to the stakes of the finale, but might have also changed the course of the series entirely. Now our knowledge on soul bonds isn't very vast, but what can be inferred is that having a soul ripped out of your body isn't a good thing, especially to something called a soul bond. This one event could have changed a lot. Now on the topic of having to dance under the moon, what's the one thing dancing with a partner requires? Touching. You see where I'm going with this? In the Blood Moon Ball episode, Tom makes brief contact with Marco while under the moon, while Marco is still touching Star. If the criteria for soul bonding is contact under the moon, as we suspect, that means Marco could act as a buffer between Star and Tom, allowing them to be bound as well. It would make sense if Marco did act as a buffer between Star and Tom, for one big reason. Throughout their relationship, one thing is clear. The Blood Moon never opposes their relationship the way it does to Marco and Jackie's. We see an open opposition from the Blood Moon when Marco and Jackie first kissed. Over the course of Tom and Star's relationship, however, the only time we see the Blood Moon is in Booth Buddies. This would all make sense if Star and Tom were partially bound because of Marco. But remember, Marco had his soul ripped out, so if he was the buffer between them, that would also mean Star and Tom are no longer bound, possibly spelling the end of Tom Star in Season 4. But that's just a theory. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell us what you think in the comments. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time.